Hello everyone and welcome back to our Let's Play of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries here on Fallen Sandwich Gaming. Uh, so picking up where we left off, we did uh, retire some mechs, we just moved them into cold storage because, uh, you know, it's it, it just doesn't feel like we're really going to get them into the mix all that much. Um, so we moved some mechs over, we might have sold one or two also, I'm not entirely sure about it. The reason the Yenlo Wang is in here is that even though it's it's an enjoyable mech to run to a certain extent, um, it just gets to a point where like, will the AI be able to use it effectively? And the reality is, no, they probably won't. So I've decided to dump it off there. You know, it's a little bit sad, but it is what it is. But uh, the talking point of the day is the Rifleman here, the Rifleman DB, the Dow Breaker is called. Um, let's read the little mech info. So, a celebrated hero of the Federated Sons Capellan March toward, turned Solaris champion, Philip Cadet held a particular animosity towards House Liao and the Capellan Confederation's people, believing them responsible for the deaths of his family in the same Liao raid that made him a star. When Solaris severed, he led a loose group of like-minded Davion nationalist arena fighters that he would call the Capellan Mafia. So, very cool. We are going to buy it. Um, you know, I, I love to pick up Hero Max when I get a chance. We'll just take a look at the pilots real quick, but we're doing pretty good in pilots, as you can see. So, we're not going to worry about that too much. Um, quick once over of the DB. So, taking a look at this, I think it's a little light on AC5 ammo. I mean, I wouldn't change too much here. Maybe move that down, move that up. Uh, you know, simple stuff. I think the other thing is the large lasers kind of take up too much weight. Um, and you just, you don't, you don't have any armor on this thing. I mean, look, the head's 12. Not that the rifleman has a particularly large head, but I mean, that's so easy to get blown off. Um, the legs are at half, less than half even. You know, you don't even, you don't have full armor on this thing anywhere. Which, like, yeah, it's kind of meant to be a sniper mech, but also, um, it's kind of asking to get wrecked, I think. So, what I want to do here is just swap in a couple more tier one, tier one, I said, medium lasers. So we can max the armor, right? Go for some more AC5 ammo and another single heat sink. I mean, four medium lasers, yeah, they're going to generate heat, but... How much, really? Uh, well, it's probably still a decent amount, to be fair. I don't really feel like I need to adjust too much. Maybe... I don't know if I really want to waste one of my three double heat sinks on this thing. It's kind of the problem. Um, you know, I guess one of the things I could do, if I had them available, which it doesn't look like I do. No, I, I don't have them available. Is you could, instead of going four medium lasers, go four medium chems and go chem laser ammo. And that'll kind of clean the job up for you, but I just don't have that really. Um, yeah, this is probably the best we're going to do. The AC5s are obviously the main focus. I mean, I did briefly consider putting UAC5s on this. Uh, but it would add an additional ton to both sides. Maybe that's not the end of the world. Um, I was planning to use these UAC-5s for something else, but... Let's... You know what? Let's give them a shot here. And then we'll drop all this. Right? And then we can go, uh... We'll drop that extra heat sink we put in. And then we can go AC-5 ammo. See, that's kind of the thing there, isn't it? Yeah, is that basically get two stacks in. That's definitely not as much as you'd want, but maybe it's enough for now. Do that. Yeah, because I don't know where else I would lose another ton. Let's see how it runs with just the two stacks of ammo. Maybe even drop the last heat sink because it's not really like it's doing anything. I mean, I guess it's doing something. I could put a single double in. All right, let's put a single double in and just see how that goes. Um, and who knows, maybe it'll surprise us. So that's the Dow Breaker added to the squad. Now, we are going to head up to Zebebel Ganubi, uh, which I hope I said somewhat remotely correctly, um, just to pick up, uh, what is it? Pick up some Cantina missions before we move on. I do want to go ahead and tackle... 
this transmission. So 40 VTOLs and 25 J Edgars, that should be easy enough. That stuff's going to happen organically. There's a black market here also. Just take a quick look. Bunch of light rifles. Um, I'm wondering if I should pick these up just in case I need them for something, but I think we're going to leave them be for now. These AC-20s are pretty good, but a uh, million and a half is not really what I'm looking to do. Should get some more chem lasers while we're here. They're pretty cheap. See, so now I could technically do that chem laser build, but... Uh, I don't think I want to hold it up too much longer, especially since we already gained weight in some places. No arm weapons. Well, no AMS. No AMS weapons. Duh. Uh, some interesting stuff here, but we're going to leave that be. We'll uh, go ahead and pick this up just in case. Some more LBX ammo. I don't really know if I want to do all that. Can buy that too, just in case. Uh, and that's fine for now. There's no double heat sinks here, right? Just before I bounce out. It doesn't look like it. No, no, no. It does not look like it. Okay. Cool, cool. So, let's head on back to the star map. And then, uh, Scorched Earth over at Glen Gary. It's Karita vs. Marek, so we'd have plenty to negotiate with. Or... We could head up to Shatara and maybe see about trying to run into this Merc company. Another thing I just want to go over quick. I know I was talking about trying to find some more Crusader variants. Um, unfortunately, the majority of the Crusader variants don't actually become available on the market until 3049, which I believe right now we're at start date like 3030, 3036. So that's 13 years before the rest of the oh wow there's no missions available here what is this this is for davion against karita okay i mean it's not really what we want to do um who is this the filthy lucre i mean like i guess we could do it right or we could uh there's no missions why are there no missions or I just I guess I just can't see them. Do I jump up to Aubison? I feel like we fought these guys uh, enough times at this point. Uh, 84 days. How far can I get before I gotta pay those bills? Let's jump up to Orestes. I know I'm just wasting money right now jumping around, but I would like to do uh, missions in Merc territory. That way uh, we potentially have some more run-ins because that is one of the goals in our campaign continuation. Um, there's another black market here, so I guess I'll take a look. Uh, more UAC-5s. I mean, I don't really have the money to blow, but I guess I do. Yeah, I guess I do, because those are good ones. So we just bought those, uh, which means we're probably not going to buy much else. I mean, phew, these chem lasers are good, too. I need to be stopped. Um, I just want to... Just, just gonna, just gonna spend a little bit of money. Ooh, that's a good one, but cannot afford it. Um, AMS melee, and are there any double heat sinks? Does not look like it. Okay, no double heat sinks. So let's just check the cantina real quick. Kill three ravens. Collect a cicada. Kill twenty five harassers. Yeah, I'm good. Um, all right. Actually, there is a multi mission here. So it is a war zone, a beachhead, and a battlefield. Yeah. Do I really want to four Steiner? Let's see here. A war zone, a beachhead, and a battlefield. So the beachhead is the only one I definitely, like, don't really feel great about doing, to be honest with you. This is another multi. Of course, it doesn't say what it is, but it's four... At least it's four Rosselhog. Just jump up and do that real quick. And then go to Degelin. Let's do that real quick and then go to Degelin. Trying to get into it as fast as possible for you guys. You know, it's just... You get to that point where it's like, ah, what are we doing? So the reason we're going to Degelin is for that, uh... There's a transmission mission for Rosselhog. I would love to give that a shot. Oh, look, another black market. 
Let's take a quick look. Um, definitely stuff we like, but probably nothing we're going to buy. Ugh. We're going to get those. It's because you never have enough of them, it seems. Double heat sinks. Double heat sinks. No double heat sinks. I feel like this becomes like a massive portion of the late game where you're just like, are there double heat sinks here? And you scratch your neck like an addict. Um, so a raid, a scorched earth, and an objective raid. Okay. I'm fine doing that. That sounds like a good time to me. Uh, let's just go ahead and like get some money back, right? Yeah, that's good. Get some money back and pick up a little bit of salvage as well. I'm I'm happy. I'm happy to do that. So let's just go ahead and clear the board so we can build it back up. So we're gonna go. Let's go Bouchard. Um, Canuck. Wonder if he's Canadian. And Ponder. He's very thoughtful. Ponder. That's why we like to bring him. Um, so just because I'm dumb and can't remember. What is this again? This is a raid. Okay. So, probably don't want to be, like, super heavy on a raid, but we don't really have, like, a lot of, like, fast heavies is kind of the problem. So, I guess we'll bring the, the Goss Atlas, because, of course. Uh, probably drop Bouchard and the Victor. That feels like a good fit there. And then we can go... Bring the other atlas, bring the RS, maybe? Yeah, we can bring the RS for Captain Canuck, right? And then I can still fit another 80 in, right? So we can bring uh, the Zeus. The Zeus for good old Captain Ponder here. Yeah, that feels like a good squad. Let's try that out. I would bring the Annihilator, but it's just a little bit too slow for a raid, I think. Um, it might have a place in one of the next missions, though. A surgical strike. Everybody brings atlases to their surgical strikes, right? It's not just me. Just make sure these weapon groups are right. And uh, it looks like they are. Okay. The thing about bringing atlases to everything is it just makes all the missions take a long time. But <laughs> that's kind of okay, right? So we do have to remember not to be too liberal, liberal, liberal with our Gauss weaponry, as uh, we just don't have an excessive amount of ammunition for it. So really got to prioritize using it against enemy mechs and heavily armored vehicles. Oh, that that indicator threw me way off. All right. go take that down oh. ah great oh, I love that This was unexpected. Okay. Getting a little bit swarmed here.
The orbital gun was never the target. It was the friends we made along the way. What happened to not using the Gauss rifle on things it's not necessarily made for? Sometimes seeing the enemies around here is damn near impossible. That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. It says destroy targets at all oh that's that's what it is. We gotta go up that hill. Alright, let's just do that. And then we'll come back down, because we gotta get a move on. Yeah, I just got totally targeted by everything in the area, so course we're probably down at least in atlas for whatever the next mission is but that's fine these multi-missions are kind of the best way of making money so we will take on the challenge if need be i also think that might have been the main base yeah that definitely was like the main target we hit first so results may vary you know it's always a little different when you hit the main target first Let's get a move on. Let's get a move on. Really? I'm actually surprised that didn't bring it down. Alright. Just a short thousand meter trek to where we're going. Which. And then we can try to wrap this one up. These turrets fire before they're even out of the ground. See that? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of cool, I guess. A little funky. Alright. That's enemy number one. Okay, actually, don't get complacent. Yep. The heck was that? Little shits. Okay, that's down. I don't know if that's going to go critical, so... Try to get away from that. Alright, and it's down. Hostile dropship. Gotta love it. Alright, cover the retreat, boys. right there yeah I mean we took a little bit of damage a little bit of damage got an armor break on one of the arms but it looks like for the most part it was just us so worse things could have happened in fact worse things could still happen I don't have enough salvage to make 
fighting this banshee worth it, really? If it wasn't standing directly under my dropship, I wouldn't. <laughs> okay. Well, we unfortunately took additional damage at the end there because uh, a banshee lie in waiting for us, but... I suppose it always could have been worse. Uh, we definitely didn't take seven million dollars worth of damage, so... Seven million sea bills. I gotta get in the the habit of saying sea bills. You know? Alright. Always gotta check and make sure there's no double heat sinks hanging around. Take that LRM-10. Actually, we'll just take, uh... We'll just go down the line here, I guess. You see five bursts? I mean... It's not a particularly good one. SRM-2s? We'll take the SRM-2s. Why not? Alright. Yep, yeah, so 1,200 damage, 1,200 plus damage, 510 taken. Yeah, literally they were like, see that that atlas right there? Shoot that one. Um, <laughs> well, whatever. It's all good. All good. So this atlas is uh, not coming. So here's my thing. Is how long until the next mission? 24 days? Or is that... Is that that like we're going in in twenty in like right now, you know? So like, this guy's obviously not running the next one. Um, what type of mission is it? Is it again? I think it's like a. It's a scorched earth. So this is again destroying a thing, right? Okay. So destroying a thing should be a fine job. I could take the other Atlas D. I think that's fine. It doesn't has the doesn't have the Gauss rifle, but everybody else is pretty much good to go. Let me just see real quick. What would it cost to So 12 days? Let me just see. Is that going to Yeah, it's gonna make it so that it's not ready. So Um let's go back in here and cancel the work order on the RS. Because we're gonna want to bring all these again. So, well. Maybe not the RS, actually. No, you know what? We can bring the RS. Uh, let's just see what happens. It's a Scorched Earth. It shouldn't be too crazy. So, as long as we don't run into another big Banshee. Yeah, so now we're just in our other Atlas D, which should be set up the same. Yeah, it pretty much is. All right. It's another pretty big map, but should be fine. Something's wrong, Commander. There's an unrecognized dropship closing in on your position. That's uh, not great. They're landing right behind us. Of course. So, yeah, this is not going to be good. It's a bunch of Warhammers. No cover available. There's no cover available at all. Okay. That <laughs> that was intense. Um we obviously outweighed them and outgunned them, but if we didn't, I mean, I seriously considered bringing a weaker lance for this because it's a scorched earth. So, like, if I had swapped out of these mechs and we had run into that, um, probably somebody would have went down. I mean, look at me. I'm, I'm red all over, man. I mean, now normally... 
I don't really comment on uh, the player bias of the AI, but I'm going to bring it up in this moment because I'm the only person being shot and this is the second mission um, that that's been the case. Now, hey, I get it, you know, the AI clearly recognizes the player is the biggest threat on the field, so that's fine. You know, I have to do a better job of avoiding that when that's the case. But it is just worth commenting on at this point, <clears throat> seeing the small sample size. Uh, uh, this is now the second Atlas D in a row to be in very, very poor shape um, very, very quickly. So just something to keep in mind when you're going through your playthroughs is... Uh, you know, depending on your play style, you might need to set up for uh, your allies to take on the brunt of some of the fire. You serious? All right, I was gonna say. Can you not, huh? Oh! What was that? Okay, that came out of nowhere. I mean, this is definitely going to be a test here. No! I mean... <sighs> okay, we need to get through this and quickly. What is going on? What am I stuck on? I mean, I, I wish I could say it was going well, but I don't really think it is. Alright, and we're out of AC ammo because uh, the fighting's been very, very constant. Oh, man. So the victor lost an arm. How much you want to bet that's uh, the only arm on the victor that matters? Yeah, so now the boys are taking some fire. They can focus that centurion as well. While I try to get us out of this mess.
All right, come on. There's got to be some side of this place that I have not finished off. Come on, we're almost there. It's almost like, uh, it's almost like the AI, like, hold on, who's faster? I need to be in the victor, the victor's fastest. It's almost like the AI, like, kind of identifies you by how useful your weapon, oh, actually we didn't lose the AC-20, lost the other arm. So I'm, I'm actually kind of okay with that. Um, the stuff on the other arm is uh, expendable. But um, it's almost like the AI kind of targets you by like the tier of your weaponry. If that makes any sense. I don't, I don't know if that's true or not. But it's pretty obvious that like uh, the guys with the highest damage output potential seem to take the most damage, which makes sense for, um, which makes sense for why, um, my Atlas got targeted so heavily, because the top tier AC-20 is definitely the highest damage potential. Okay, and I get a nice little large laser out of it, but unfortunately I don't think any of these mechs are going to be able to run the last mission, so... That's kind of the only major loss here. So, I mean, all in all, it's it's okay. It's okay. So let's take a look. Yep, I mean, made another twelve mil. Hey, Intel level three. Love to see it. So. So, could have got a Centurion, I mean, yeah, uh, I'll be alright. I'm not too choked up about a Centurion. Let's see here. No double heat sinks, man. How do you get some double heat sinks in here? So, decent PPC here. Could get a couple of more. Could go for these AC5s. Nice SRM6. And, uh, why not... Oh, it's five for this? I'm never going to use five salvage points on that. Um, Alright, I got one point left. Let's just go for the LRM5 stream. It's probably another thing I'm just not really going to use. Then again, I could go for the SRM2s. Let's do that, because I think something actually is rocking SRM2s. I just can't think of what off the top of my head. Alright, cool. So, yeah, 1800 total damage. Again, just leading in every category, uh, including damage taken. So, uh, all in all, I mean, it is okay. A little little costly, a little costly, but it's fine. Blimey, Commander, we just received a mech delivery out of the blue. Not just any mech, but a Firestarter 9A. This is the original production model of the Firestarter. These things were supposed to be phased out when the Star League switched over to the FS9H model, and yet here we have one. I had to check the mech register to verify, but she's the genuine deal. In working order and everything. Bloody hell. I guess this means that the rumors are true, and we are we really getting involved with THE Bounty Hunter? I've always thought the guy was nothing but an urban legend, if if it's even a guy to begin with. As the stories go, no one's ever seen the bloke outside his suit, and that suit itself is rumored to be a Star League PAL suit. Genuine power armor. Nothing like the environmental cooling suits your typical mech warrior wears. I can't even fathom what the bloke is keeping for himself if he's willing to just give away an extinct mech at the drop of a hat. So yeah, Firestarter 9A? Uh, yeah, you know... Kind of beyond fire starters at this point. But we'll claim that. Of course we will. So yeah, here comes the hard part. Is that all these mechs are out of commission. Oh, Captain Bouchard's injured. That's wonderful. Uh, who do we have as a decent backup? Um, 44 out of 52. 43 out of 53. Is like, you know, let's just go Anthony. Alright, so let me just see. Uh, what kind of mission is this? What kind of mission is this? An objective raid. Okay, so objective raid. 
so we don't really want to be annihilator slow is, is kind of what I'm, I'm picking up here but also we definitely don't want to walk in there with uh, I mean the thing is like the annihilator is slow it doesn't carry carry a ton of ammo its main armaments are LB-10s, but it also might be, like, the only thing that can really, like, do the job. Um, very concerning, very concerning. Um, all right, so I guess we go... I guess we go Annihilator. Um, awesome... And then bolt the stalkers and just hope that that is enough. I mean, we're almost at deployed. We're almost at the tonnage limit, so. Like, I guess it's enough, technically. Yeah, I mean. Oh. Well, I guess we're going to go for it. I was going to say, I don't want to make this episode too long, but uh, a little late for that. A little late for that. So, first things first. Yes, but we're going to put these all on three, and we're going to put these on four. There we go. Yep, so... Mmm, this is a tough one. It's like we swing around the outside, and then come up top. Is that what we should do? I mean, either way, this is going to be a little bit of a clunker of a mission, but that is A-OK. -okay. <laughs> We've got the Annihilator out on the field with two Stalkers and an Awesome. I mean, definitely not the uh, your average objective raid group. Could go uphill first, right? Hit the main base, hit that little side thing, and then swing around the back. Not really sure what the best move is here. It seems like they're the same distance. I think we do that. I think we go up, cause some hell, and then swing around the back. Yep, we're getting there. We're getting there. Don't you underestimate this here or now later. He's got shotguns on his arm. Alright. <laughs> Didn't even get to see the first engagement. Yeah, I mean, probably not the best mission type for an Annihilator, but it gives us an excuse to bring it, which, of course, I'm going to take. And uh, it also <clears throat> was the only 100 ton we had available. I don't really want to be using LBXs on that. So, gonna have to remember ye old weapon groups here. Yeah, that's more what we want to be doing. So, let's see. Wow. <laughs> Man, it's such a chunk, this mech. Such a chunk. Yeah, I'm not even going to shoot at that thing. Oh, uh, maybe once. Yeah, there we go. It's, it's good and gone now. I'm surprised there's anything the Annihilator can't just walk through, all things considered. That's one down. Uh, the boys got it. And the spider? Yeah, I'll just let, let the fam handle it.
There's that. There's that. There's that. What is going on over there? Tell me this Phoenix Hawk is really giving them trouble. I'm gonna lose it. There you go, now he's disabled. A Phoenix Hawk and a Vindicator walk into an Annihilator. Are you serious? What is that? Ah, yes, a Patton. All right, let's go. Let's not waste too much time here. So we've got more objectives. What is that? Search area inside target ring? Are they for real right now? What is shooting me like that? Yeah, they're serious with those. Alright, let's go, everybody. Gather around. Gather around. Ugh. Yeah, maybe I should have brought something a little faster. <laughs> Too late for that. Like, what's the point of making me do this whole search thing here? It make me stand still for a few minutes? Is that the point? Ah, there we go. That's nice. Alright. Now, in the interest of... Can you... I swear, it's like watching five monkeys try to hump a doorknob with these guys sometimes. Oh, man, I wish there was a faster way down, but I know for a fact that if I go off the edge, they're not going to be able to figure out how to get down to me. Is there like a, a nice gentle way down over here uh, definitely not I'm gonna go with a definitely not no nice gentle slope how about on this side uh, maybe maybe I'm willing to take the chance all right well it's better than uh, letting him shoot me so Okay, that's actually that taken care of. So I think we just turn around and see if it's the same thing on the other side. And that way I don't have to go all the way down the hill. That would be nice. Now, of course, it definitely depends on where the evac is, but... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm sorry about this one, guys. I, I really should have thought... Uh, better than to bring the annihilator i mean it's in great shape though you know you gotta give it that it's doing it's doing a heck of a job so far uh certainly hope that uh that rival company doesn't show up again because boy that would be bad oh my goodness this thing brings new meaning to the word salute imagine putting a mask in one of these that would be uh Almost essential, I'd say. <laughs> Throw a mask in your uh, in your big guy, in your annihilator, in your literal walking Trojan horse. 
Uh, I mean, I guess it's not... It kind of looks like a Trojan horse, but I, I guess it isn't because uh, it's not party-shaped, you know? Like, the Trojan horse worked because it was party-shaped. This thing is uh, definitely murder-shaped, you know? So, gotta keep that in mind. It only works if it's party-shaped. To be honest, though, if the Trojan horse was actually a real thing and worked, those guys deserved it. <laughs> I mean, you're like just finishing up a war and you get a big giant wooden horse delivered to your city and don't think to like knock on it or something and see if it's hollow. It just seems like real poor planning to me. Okay, tell me I just have to shoot that satellite dish. Please. Please make this the last thing. Oh, it doesn't look like it was. Unless I didn't shoot the whole thing. Nah, I definitely gotta go down there. Darn. Oh no, it's just the satellite uplink. There we go. Oh, where is the evac? Oh no, it's so far away. <laughs> it's so far away, why? Oh, okay, I mean, if they're dropping reinforcements there, then like, it should be fine. Oh, because they probably think we're down there. Well, that's kind of funny, I guess. All right. Well, they're not going to be able to reach us if we just like casually walk away. So why don't we do that? They're not going to be able to get up here in time unless somebody's got some serious jump jets, which I doubt that they really do or really even properly know how to use them. So like, I think we're good to just like stroll on out, which means. Stop shooting at them because you're just gonna take damage back. Stop making yourself an easy target. This would be the worst time for them to be like, dun 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 dun. Rival Mercs. Oh! He figured out how to use his jump jets! I don't know if they're congratulating me or if that was them, but either way, it's appreciated. Grasshopper came out of nowhere, man. <laughs> but I mean, he basically just accepted shotgun blast straight to the chest, so it's not like he deserves an award or anything, right? Okay, did that to himself. All right, good. So made made some more money. Um. Could pick up a Jenner just to sell it, but I, I, like I think we're kind of beyond that at this point. Uh, anything good here? No, I'll just pick up some more weapons and stuff. I mean, uh, medium lasers are great. Everything uses them. Let's do that and then just take two mediums. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay, honestly, like <laughs> maybe this was the perfect lance for this job. I mean, it, it took them five years to get where they were going but boy they got there all right so the collect one assassin i'm gonna drop um we're like almost there on this yeah we're two out of three we're four out of six all right so here's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna pick both of these up uh, i can't pick them both up but whatever all right guys uh, in the interest of not making this video any longer, I'm going to end it right here. So if you enjoyed what you saw here today, even our slow walk across the moon, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel out so much, and it means the world to me. Um, thank you so much for joining me, and have a great day.